Oh, hey there, people. How the frig's it going? Well, it's currently, it was a Monday. Yeah, it's Monday morning. Well, Monday afternoon now. I got up early today. I was up at around 9 o'clock in the, in the morning. Uh, I didn't start vlogging right away. I had to get some shit organized. I got to go to the bank today at 3.30 because we're going to uh, play the old game of get my retirement savings plan out of my old company that I was with, my ex-job, and moving it into something more secure. See, the problem is, is if I leave the money where it's sitting now, every month they charge me a $15 service fee. So, you do the math on that, and and every year they're going to take 180 bucks out. So, just to hold on to the money and it won't be accruing any interest it's literally just gonna sit there and fester so I'd rather take it out of there and invest it into something more you know generating income like a uh, guaranteed investment if you will where no matter what the uh, inter interest is low but it's gonna generate funds and I'm young enough now where if I do accidentally you know live long enough to retirement It'll probably be a lot of money, and I'll be able to actually retire, unlike some people I know who have no investments, have no retirement, and when it comes time to retirement, they're going to be working at Walmart as a greeter just so they can make a buy, because Canada Pension doesn't pay you frig all. Same with uh, old age pension. It just doesn't pay, you know? It's, it's not enough money to live off of. Like, unless you're established, you own your house, and your bills are cheap, and you plan on doing nothing after you retire then Canada Pension just won't cut it so that's what we're gonna do today we gotta go to the bank and do that I know it makes for a boring ass friggin vlog something else I want to do today is shave my head because this hair is getting ridiculous it looks stupid it's all over the place so I'm gonna go do that now I'm gonna shave my head have a shower uh, we gotta go there for 3 30 it's currently quarter to one so we got plenty of time to get that said and done so I'm gonna do that right now and um, then we're gonna go to the bank I don't know what we're doing after that. I also, uh, yeah, that about sums it up. So that's the battle plan for that. I'll talk to you guys in a bit with a shaved head. Oh, shaved my head and had a shower. Feeling a ton times better. Sun's out. They're calling for a wicked snowstorm today. I don't even see any clouds in the sky. I see nothing but sun coming in. Somebody's enjoying the sun. Somebody's getting a suntan. Trying to turn their white spots black, probably, eh? You want to be a black kitty, don't you, buddy? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. But, um, yeah, I need some food. I'm fucking hungry. I don't know what I'm going to make. I think it's going to... I don't know what I'm going to make. What the hell should I make? What do I have? That's quick, easy, and dirty. I don't really have anything quick. Got a lot of dirty. Hmm. Well, ooh, about to have a friggin' pogo lanch. And I got eggs. I gotta make that macaroni one of these days. Got some veg. Anything in here that I can bang together. And, and I got the macaroni in here. <sighs> I don't know what to make. I don't know what to make. I really don't know what to make. But I might make craft dinner. You know what? I'm gonna make craft dinner. I don't know why this camera is doing that thing again where it takes a while to boot up and flip the screen and shit. But uh, I might take some of your guys' advice where you said add some cheese with to the craft dinner to bring out the bling. And yeah, and I think when I come back, I'm probably gonna start working on this area, getting shit out of the way. I don't know where I'm gonna put it all. I'm gonna have to watch out for him. I might have to tuck the uh, weight bench away for the time being. Get these old busted computers out of the way. Get this chair out of the way. I don't know what to do with this chair. I don't really want to get rid of it because it's a good chair, but I don't really need it, so I probably should get rid of it. Get this thing out of here. Get these DVDs out of here. Move this chair. Fucked if I know where, but we're going to fire it back in that corner. Uh, just going to basically turn this whole area into a great big mess while I clear out this area over here so it's easier to work. And then... Uh, find out from dad when he's planning on coming over because like I said first thing we're gonna do is tackle that pipe and get it aimed properly we're thinking about actually putting it behind the wall just not sure if we can put it behind the wall which means we're gonna have to remove a segment of the wall and see how much room's back there because we'd like to go straight across and then up like I guess I don't know dad says he has an idea so 
we'll just pretend he knows what he's talking about, and he probably does. Because, you know, he does that shit. What the fuck are you doing? You, you know, if you're on your own, yeah, that's how you pick it up, bud. You're such a salamander head. I don't know if he's itchy, or if he got into, like, chemicals. Such a sped. Stay down. Stay down. Don't jump at me. I don't like that. You're gonna blow your fucking knee again, bud. What, you gonna pick up both toys? <laughs> Freaking weirdo. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Get all this stuff out. Maybe after the bank, I'm gonna head over to somewhere. Maybe Walmart or something to get some garbage bags. Start throwing shit out again. So there's a lot of shit down here that I don't need, and I'm gonna bundle it up. What day is it today? Today's Monday, so garbage days until Wednesday night. But I can start bundling up a bunch of junk and getting it ready for uh, a department for a garbage. Because yeah, I think I'm out up here, eh? This is an empty box. Yeah, it's an empty box. Frig sakes! Throw that in the garbage and go from. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. <laughs> Walk in the living room and there he is holding this toy staring at me. But yeah, we'll get this all situated and stuff and go from there. And yeah, I mentioned about the TV in the corner up there and all that shit yesterday. I don't know. It's just an idea I toss around. Am I fucking bleeding again? Jesus Murphy. Random wounds keep opening up on my body and it fucking sucks because I'm wrecking shirts. She looks so impressed. She just looks so impressed. Look at that face. The impression is so impressed. Mow. Mow, mow, mow. Cookie? Do you want a temptations? Scampers? <laughs> She's so embarrassed. She's like, why you gotta film me all the frickin' time? Hi. What are you doing? Can I get meow? No? Okay. Yeah, so in about an hour and so I gotta bail, go to the bank, get that shit dealt with. And then afterwards we'll probably just friggin' figure something out and do it. But uh, yeah, I should also go to the grocery store and see if I can find that Sarah Bright. I was supposed to do that last time I was at the grocery store and I keep forgetting. So that'd be a good idea maybe to see if I can get that. And the boys want a game tonight and maybe I'll bring back my empties and grab some beer or something. Because uh, getting loaded and playing Grand Theft Auto is a uh, pretty good time. Even though I was chatting with my buddy who lost a lot of weight. He went from 320 pounds down to uh, a healthy 210. He's also 6'3", so 210 pounds. It actually looks pretty good on him. He doesn't look like some anorexic twig that's way too tall. Uh, I asked him, I said, well, how'd you do it? And he said, well, first step was propor uh, proportioning my meals. He goes, first thing, when you get up in the morning, have breakfast. Don't skip breakfast. There's a reason why they call it the most important meal of the day. He's like, it breaks the fast, and it gets your metabolism going for the day. He's like, have something that's good with protein. If you can go high in fiber, do that too, and it'll get your body going. And he said, for lunch, he goes, don't eat a huge lunch. Have something light. Well, I'm having craft dinner. And it's not exactly a good lunch, but it's food. And he said, for supper, he goes, have something that's really good. Like, nothing too big, but like, you know, chicken or steak or something. And some some sort of a, a starch and some sort of vegetables. You definitely want a lot of vegetables in your diet. Because throughout the day, if you feel hungry, snack on vegetables. Get some celery, carrots, whatever. Eat those. And he said, most importantly, the first thing he did was he quit drinking beer. Because... They say one bottle of beer is like eating seven slices of bread. Yeah, seven slices of bread. So because of that, he said he recommends that you don't drink beer, that you skip beer. And lately when he's been wanting to get drunk, he's been doing stuff like rum. Rum and coke. Mind you, he's using that aspartame shit. And we all know the stories behind aspartame and what it's been causing problems with saying it's cause of cancer, cause of Alzheimer's, cause of a bunch of diseases, 
because it's not exactly the best sweetener on the market but um, I think he uses Coke Zero but uh, he, he said you know have rum and Coke it's better for you he goes way better than a beer because all the yeast and beer I guess it's like eating seven pieces of bread or some shit and it worked for him so I don't know maybe I'll get some some coke tonight and have rum and cokes or something rum and ginger ale or whatever I don't know if rum and ginger ale will taste good but anyway that's about ready to pop any second now so I'm gonna make my KD and then uh, I'm gonna go finish watching the uh, main event from last night the pay-per-view yay 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 craft dinner and celery sticks with cheese yummy all right people well it's five after three so I'm gonna head off to the bank we're gonna get shit straightened out I forgot school's still in session, so the buses will be out, so it might cause a little bit of a delay. But if I'm a little bit late, I'm sure they'll be understanding. Probably not, but let's get the hell out there. Head off to the bank. Get this pension bullshit all straightened out. So that's done and over with. And then, uh, see what the what is. Yay, yay. Talking about that closed loop life, eh? Jesus, Murphy. 1500 rpm idle you know it's cold out when anyway let's get out of here alrighty well we made it with plenty of time to spare so I'm gonna go inside and see if we can get shit rolling earlier and get stuff did so I'll talk to you guys in a bit when I get out of here until then peace the frig out alrighty people it's currently five o'clock that's right I just consumed an hour and a half of my life doing what you ask a little bit of nothing a whole lot of fuck all no it was uh nothing but problems I didn't know what I needed to bring and I don't have some of the forms they need so now I got to call up the Kevin Canada Revenue Agency get a bunch of shit friggin organized there I gotta go to the uh, I gotta, I gotta go to back to the office tomorrow gotta go to HR and uh, get some shit organized there so we can transfer my pension over to some locked-in investment nonsense and Wednesday, I gotta go back to the bank and get everything organized. Oh, fuck, adulting sucks. That's all I gotta say about that. You know what? A lot of people probably bitch and moan about the prehistoric days, thinking today is friggin' like these days are better. At least back then, they didn't have to worry about taxes and fucking RSPs and GICs and mutual fucking nonsense and blue chips and investing in RIM and all this bullshit. All I had to do back then was fucking slay animals and eat them. That's the life, man. That's the life. Shit's overcomplicated nowadays. So, yeah. Because I gotta find out. That thing sounds like it's missing. So I gotta find out how much room I have for RSPs. And because I didn't have my T4 on me, because I never got the fucking thing yet, the, um, the lady at the CRA wouldn't help me out. Told me without my T4 there's nothing she can do. Worst part is, they have until the 28th to get you your T4. It's like, for fuck's sakes, you have until the 29th to buy RSPs. I was thinking about buying like 10 grand worth just because you can get up to 50% back on your income tax. So that's like five grand off, because I'm probably gonna get dinged pretty hard this year. Because I do have like a lot of money as an income due to the severance. So I expect to get effed in the A pretty hard. We'll get shit straightened out. Once I get all this nonsense straightened out, then I'm going fucking balls to the walls looking for a job. I'm fucking bored sitting at home. I need a fucking income. I need income and I need something to do. YouTubing for a living? Nah, that's not for me. I'd rather do it as a hobby. I don't know how the fuck these guys can sit there and do YouTube for a living. And not get stir crazy. Time to get my shit organized, get a fucking job. Carry on with life. I'll still make the videos. It's just, you know... I won't be at home all the time. And this time I won't make the mistake of vlogging while I'm going to work. People don't need to know where I'm working at. It's none of their fucking business, right? Anyway, I'm at the grocery store. I'm gonna see if these guys have that Cinebrite. Grab some shite for supper. Then I'm gonna go to the beer store, get some de-stressor. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, I didn't find the stuff that people suggested to clean the glass top stove. But I found glass top stove glass top stove cleaner so should be okay also bought some bangers for they were on sale for like three bucks or whatever we're gonna air fry some bangers have bangers and mash for supper should be pretty tasty oh man brain is mush right now 
financial advisors can do that to you. Talking fucking numbers and money and RSPs and GICs and I just can't focus. Can't focus to the point where I'm sitting in there in the grocery store and a girl I know comes up to me and she's like, hey, how's it going? Starts talking to me. I had no fucking idea who the hell she was. No fucking idea. Just, oh yeah, going great. And I'm looking at her. And she's then she finally clues. She goes, "You don't know who I am, do you?" Nope, not the foggiest. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. This has been one of those days. Just been one of those days. But once we get all this shit done and get out there, get everything organized, wouldn't have waited till the last minute if they would have sent me the right information when I requested it. I got the right information last Thursday. Got up too late on Friday. I said, "Fuck it, I'll deal with it on Monday." thing is, is all I want to do is just do one thing and they want to do more than one thing because I'm going to pay a lot of taxes so they want me to buy RSPs with my severance and kind of defer the taxes and she's talking all these fucking numbers and they sound great and all but fuck I wasn't ready to become a human calculator. Mind you, it really bothers me when a financial advisor will reach for a calculator for a mundane calculation that you should be able to do in your fucking head. That kind of stifles me a bit, going, how can you be a financial advisor when you just ask your calculator what 2 plus 6 was? Like, why can't you just take the numbers, put them in your brain, and have it fart out an answer? Not fucking rocketry science or anything. Whatever. People are fucked. We'll get this shit all straightened out. So tomorrow's going to be more boring vlogging because I'm going to have to go to freaking X job, talk to the HR dicks and get everything all situated and fucking amalgamated and blaza bladed and was a whiz whizzing and fucking bleh. Boring, boring, boring office bullshit. Not looking forward to it. Just thinking about working on the fucking living room tonight, clearing shit out, but I don't even know if I want it because my brain's fucking pudding. Might go home and fire some... Well, it is quarter after five, so maybe I will go home and fire some shit into the air fryer. Get the mashed potatoes going. We'll get bangers and mash going now. The guys want to play Grand Theft Auto tonight, so we might do a live stream of that. Hopefully we can get them organized before 10 p.m. so we're not fucking playing after after 10 have a little bit of an earlier stream tonight. Get the bed at a decent hour. It's one thing I it's one thing that kind of bothers me is the whole idea of let's do an earlier stream because a lot of the guys work in the morning. So earlier stream we're done earlier and things are better, right? Well, apparently it doesn't work out that way. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you when I get home. So until then, peace the frig out. All right, well, this is the shit I bought. It's called Wee Man glass top, cooktop, whatever. Heavy duty cleaner. It's got some directions on the back. Uh, yeah, directions. Ah, here we go. Last serve is the cool for cleaning. Shake well and apply to cook stop. Clean with, I don't have that pad or paper towel. Buff with paper towel to shine. Yep, this is gonna be a busy job. But I won't be doing that now because I'm gonna make bangers and mash and I'm gonna be cooking on the cooktop. And I'll clean it after I'm done making the mashed potatoes because uh, I'm probably gonna make a mess anyway. So why the frig, you know? Why not uh, just say frig it and make a frickin' mess and go from there. Already got the bangers in the air fryer. That's all freshly cleaned out. And I got my potato water boiling up here. Which is a cup and a half of water, half a cup of milk, and a tablespoon of butter. And as you can tell, it's boiling. So we'll let that there boil for a bit and then uh, take it off the heat, add the potato powder to it, and fucking instant mashed potatoes. Gotta love it! All the potatoes are done. Now we gotta wait for the frick, frickin' uh, for the bangers. Frickin' bangers! Bang on! So they should be done soon. Can I pass? Excuse me, campers. C can I get by? Campers? Can I, can I maybe get by?
You think I can get by, dude? No? Fuck. Alrighty, people. Bangers are done. They look fantastic. Let me just put the camera in my other hand. We'll stab one if we can. Oh, yeah. These are awesome looking. Nice. Okay, let me get these on a plate. Yay! Bangers and mash. Do you see why I didn't clean my stove yet? I'll wait till that cools down. We'll bang it out after dinner. I don't have the actual pad. I didn't even notice any pads for it, but I do have like... Well, I got sponges and shit that I can probably use. I won't use like my green sponge, which I can't find. It's around here somewhere. Yeah, I won't use one of these. To, this needs to go in the garbage. This is fucked. But I won't use one of those. I'll use uh... I'll use paper towels, frigate. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat. Alright people, well I had dinner. Now we're gonna try and clean this stove top. Sorry if the audio sounds fucky, I got you guys on a tripod and I already lost where I put the fucking stove cleaner. Are you serious right now? Well that's because I put it on the fridge and I'm looking in the cabinet. But that's good because the paper towels, need those. And this poopy time. The wee men's glass countertop fucking cooking stuff. Okay, so shake the shit out of it and apply the cooktop. I can do that. That's my shaking the shit move. And then apply the cooktop. Wait, is there like a thing covering? Nope, it's wide open. There is no seal of approval. How much do you apply? I'm just gonna give her. Probably too much. Okay, we'll do a section and we will see how well the poopy time works. See if I can take off this shit that's on this one burner. Holy crap, it's working! I think. Hey, if I can take this shit off, that's fucking mint. Oh, my pants just vibrated. I got a text. It's working, people. Nice. Well, that's exciting. Look at the paper towel, it's covered in poop! Like, did I use too much though, or... It's streaking like a son of a whore. That worked nicely. Oh, son of a bitch, eh? Glass top. Stove cleaner by We Men Incorporated. That's my Metallica voice. Yeah, that potato shit's been baked on there since like, fuck, 2012? 2012? What a difference. I'm gonna buff the living shit out of this. It's gonna be gorgeous. I'll never wanna cook again. Wow. That looks freaking awesome. Check it out. Can you spot the difference? Ooh, ah, uh, freaking gross, freaking gross. Ooh, ah, uh, freaking gross, freaking gross. Now to do the rest of it. 
Well, shit. That looks practically brand spanking new. No. What are you eating now? What did you find? What did you eat? Fucking love when my dog eats random shit off the ground and starts choking out five minutes later. But that looks a hell of a lot better, that's for sure. Cool, and that stuff wasn't expensive either. It was only four bucks for the not product placement, Weeman glass ca what? Glass cooktop, I almost said cocktop. It works. Probably the same shit that uh, the Ceramabrite and all the rest of them are. I don't know what the hell, is there ingredients on there? Are they, are they heavily against telling you what's in the thing? Trace amounts of phosphorus. There's no ingredients. It just says heavy duty cleaner, cleans, shines, protects glass, ceramic, smooth top ranges in one step. Formally removes heavy burned on foods, grease, residue, and will not scratch. Recommended for all major cook dock manufacturers. No ingredients on it. So for all I know, it's made from friggin' mayonnaise and baby batter. And phosphorus. But anyway, I'm gonna shut the vlog down here. People get this all edited up and ready to go. I think we're gonna game tonight. I wanna see if we can get gaming in a little early. I also bought some garbage bags while I was at the grocery store, so... Maybe tomorrow after I'm done running my errands and getting everything all fucking set up for the, uh, for the thing, for the friggin' transferring of my pension and all that shit, then, uh, I think after that's all said and done, we'll probably start working on the other, on the living room and getting that all straightened out and ready for contracting work. But as for right now, I'm calling her quits. So thanks for watching people. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Sorry for freaking out the end of yesterday's video, but fuck's sakes, that was ridiculous. <coughs> like, favorite, comment as always. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time people, keep on vlogging.